Hey everyone, welcome to Bald Guy Money. As the title and thumbnail suggest, I chatted with the famous ChatGPT, an artificial intelligence powered chatbot, and I asked it several questions about silver and silver stacking. In this video, I am going to share not only what I asked ChatGPT, I'm going to share its answers, and I'm also going to share what key learnings I've taken from the conversation I had with the artificial intelligence. And just a quick channel announcement before I start, I am launching a Patreon. And it's for people who want to access the tools I use to help make better stacking decisions, as well as track my stack. I will put the link in the description of this video where everyone can get my easy to use 2023 metal tracker, which allows you to track all of your metals purchases in an easy to use Excel file. Prices in the file update automatically. All you have to do is put in the details of your purchases, including what you bought, how much it weighs, and how much you paid. The file does the rest of it for you and tracks silver, gold, and platinum purchases. It also has some additional features and you can get it at my Patreon along with more exclusive content. So if you wanna support the channel, but also get more out of the channel, please check that out. So now getting into it. And for those of you who are unsure or don't know at all what ChatGPT is, this is what it looks like. And it is a chatbot, meaning you can have an actual conversation with it. It is powered by artificial intelligence and designed to interact with the user using human-like language and pulls information from a large internet database and can be used to answer questions, write texts, make recommendations, and many, many more things. And to be honest, it's kind of like speaking with an extremely knowledgeable person. So what does it think about silver, silver stacking, and the price of silver. To get things started, I asked the AI, what are the three best reasons to own silver? And this is what it said. Number one, silver is a store of value. Number two, silver is a hedge against inflation. And number three, the fact that silver is an industrial metal. And as demand for it grows in industry, it should be accompanied by a corresponding increase in price. And in my opinion, I'd say so far so good, because if these aren't the three best reasons to own silver, I'd certainly say they are three of the best reasons to own physical silver. Now, just to balance the scales a little bit and to make sure that none of my personal biases are coming out through the answers of the AI, I also asked the AI this. What are the three biggest risks of owning physical silver? To which it actually gave me four answers, which were the risk of theft, loss or damage, risks associated with liquidity, and the risk of purchasing fake silver, which is actually becoming a bigger and bigger risk all the time, driven by people trying to pass off cheap Chinese counterfeit coins as real silver, so be careful out there. So once again, the AI gave a pretty reasonable answer to my question. But now, if I pack together the pros of owning silver with the cons of owning silver, does the AI think that overall, all things considered, that it's a good thing to own silver or not? Now, just to be clear, the AI is very careful about making real suggestions. In fact, it tries to avoid it as much as possible, and we'll see that more when we talk about the AI's price predictions coming, uh, coming shortly. So after having a little back and forth with the AI, I asked it these two questions that I think make it perfectly clear where the AI stands on owning silver. Because when I asked it, is silver good to add to a well-balanced portfolio? And is it bad to add to a well-balanced portfolio? The AI echoed the same sentiment, saying that having silver in a well-balanced portfolio can be good, and that it's not a bad 
thing. So considering the fact that this AI does a lot of fence sitting when it comes to suggesting things, I'd say the first thing we can add to our list of learnings from this conversation is that the AI actually thinks it is good to have silver in your portfolio. The next topic that I discussed with the AI now that I've established that it thinks it is a good idea to own physical silver is what kind of silver does it think is the best kind to own? So to determine that, I asked the AI this, what are the five best physical silver products to own? And it started at number one with sovereign silver coins due to the fact that they are recognizable and high quality. The specific coins it named are the American Silver Eagle, Canadian Maple Leaf coins, and Austrian Philharmonics. And that actually makes a lot of sense in my opinion, considering the things I spoke about in my last video where I ranked different metals products. Now, the list continues on to include silver bars, saying they are more cost efficient than coins since you're buying in bulk. Again, a pretty solid insight. Then the AI moves on to proof coins at number three, and then antique and rare coins at number four, arguing that those coins derive value from the fact that they are desired by collectors, which is true, but requires some specialized knowledge to properly get into, something the AI actually warns about in the fourth point. And the list concludes, funnily enough, with the product that many people requested me to cover in my next ranking video, and that is Silver Rounds. And the AI likes Silver Rounds because they can be purchased at lower premiums than government-issued Boolean coins, and compares them to Silver Bars. And maybe what I like most about what this AI has said about the best Silver products is this little bit at the bottom where it says, it's important to note that when investing in physical silver, it's important to buy from a reputable dealers and to be careful when buying online or from individuals as there is a risk of counterfeit. Something I have been saying for a long time. Buy the seller before you buy their silver. So overall, I think the chat GPT actually gets a lot of things right even if I don't exactly agree with it on the point of buying proof coins or antique coins, as I personally don't think those are good things for stacking, for what I think a lot of people who are watching this video are trying to achieve. Now, that said, before we move on, I just wanna take a quick look at our learnings so far, because I've added these two learnings that number one, the AI thinks a mix of recognizable Boolean and lower premium bars, rounds, are good for stacking. Number three is that the AI sees value in coins that are popular for collectors. And with those two things added to our key learnings list, the next thing I wanted to ask the AI is actually how much silver it thinks is a good amount to have as a percentage of your overall portfolio. So I asked it, and I also asked it to keep the answer to less than 50 words, which is something neat you can do with this AI. And as you can see here, nothing to be shocked about. It cites the opinion of a lot of financial advisors and institutional investors who say that metals in general should make up between five and 20% of a well-balanced portfolio. So we'll put that answer in the learnings bank for now, because now I want to get to the question that I know probably most of you want to know the answer to, and that is, what does the AI think about the price development for silver, and what is a price it thinks silver can hit in the near future? Now, what you have to know about this particular AI is that it is programmed to refuse all requests for the future price of any commodity, stock, crypto, or any other investable asset. But for those of you who have been watching me for long enough, you'll know that I did not give up, and I was able to find in the Apple App Store a paid-for chat bot, much like the chat GPT that I've been using, which is actually free, and I will link it up 
in the description of this video and I pressed it for a while on where it thought the price of silver could be going. And this is the answer I got. Because when I asked this AI, what is the highest price silver can realistically reach, my dear viewers, this backup AI chat, as I'll call it from now on, says that the price of silver could reach as high as $160 per ounce. Now, it wouldn't give me a specific time frame, so please forgive me for that. And although this target is on the high side for my liking, it's certainly a lot more realistic than some of the price targets I see a lot of YouTubers putting out there. So I will say hats off to the backup AI. So now that we've established what price the artificial intelligence thinks silver can realistically get to, let's take a look at a summary of all of our learnings. Number one, the AI thinks that having silver is a good thing. Number two, it thinks that a mix of recognizable Boolean and lower premium bars slash rounds are good for stacking. And what I understood is probably a mix of those things. Number three, the AI sees value in coins that are popular for collectors, something I might not 100% sign up for, but I do understand why it might say that. Moving on to number four, the AI says silver is 5% to 20% of a well-balanced portfolio. And finally, when we asked the backup AI what the price of silver could realistically be, it said that it could reach as high as $160 per ounce. And again, that is what the most cutting edge AI out there has to say about silver, silver stacking, and the price of silver. Now, onto our viewer question for the video, and this one comes from a viewer named Alex. And Alex has asked me if my suggestion has changed since uploading the video you see shown here, and that is my minimum gold and silver ownership guide, where I said that all stackers should have as a target to own five ounces of gold and 200 ounces of silver. And I wanted to include this question because it is a reminder to stackers out there exactly what role gold and silver plays in a person's portfolio. Because at the end of the day, they are wealth preservation tools, meaning that as time goes on, despite some momentary ups and downs, overall, it should protect your purchasing power that you put in it at that time. And that means that for any household out there looking to set a first stacking target, I still stand by that suggestion of five ounces of gold and 200 ounces of silver. So thanks again for asking the question and I'm wishing you all the best. With that said, please let me know what you thought about this video in the comments section. And don't forget, if you're interested in joining my Patreon to check out the link to my Patreon channel in the description. And with that said, that's it for this video. I'm wishing you all the best. Have a great weekend ahead. And until next time, goodbye.